Hello and welcome to the next discussion on Vedic Mathematics or if you prefer to call Fast Mathematics or Mental Mathematics. In this video, what I'm going to do is to introduce you to a very important concept of doing fast multiplication and that is known as vertically and crosswise method of multiplication. Please note that this is a general method that enables fast multiplication of any two arbitrary numbers. What we are going to do is we will use simple two digit multiplications to first understand the method. It is always a good idea to take up simple examples to understand the method and then we can go on and apply that method to more complex multiplications and see how it helps you to do much faster calculations as compared to your normal conventional method. One of the other notable things about this vertically and crosswise method is that we can multiply from left to right or from right to left. It means no matter whichever way you traverse to continue to multi apply the method, you will still get the same answer. So having said, let us just quickly learn this method of multiplication using a simple example. Let us say that I want to multiply two numbers, 32 multiplied by 13. This is what I want to do, multiply 32 by 13. Now, if we were to do it conventionally, I think I, I, I will not cover that method over here, but all of you are aware how do you do this multiplication conventionally. Now, how would you do with this method? So what we are going to do is we, I, I will break it down very slowly in steps so that you understand how the method follows. And then I will introduce you a general form of the method. And then maybe I can show you some fast examples, do quick multiplication to show that when this method is practiced properly, how it can help you to do quick multiplication. So the first thing that we do, and right now we are doing a left to right multiplication. So what this means is that we'll start from the left hand side of the figures and we will move on towards the, the right hand side. That is, if you like to call, let us say that this is the tens and these are the units. So we'll start from the tens digit and move over to the units digit. You And it, I will also show you the example where we start from the units digit and move over towards the tens digit. So having said that, let's 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 look at the method. Now, uh, just to explain to you the method in detail, I'm going to write this digits a bit far apart. So this let's say 32, and I have to multiply this by 13. Okay. Uh, now, what we what wh what we are going to do over here is. First, we start from right. So the first step, and let me use a different color to show this. So the first step is to multiply these two numbers. That is three into one. And I will just make a big line over here. So three into one, we just write this down over here. Now we move over to the next part, next step. So let us say that this is step one, and I'm just saying step one. Now step two, let me use another color and in this case, I would prefer to use this. Now in this case, we do a cross multiplication of the digits. That is, I multiply this digit, these that is three, multiply by three and you have to add this to one by two. That is, you, you have to multiply one by two, not add. And so, so we multiply these two, that is three by three. Three is multiplied by three and you add the other product that is one by two, one into two. Now we have to simplify this and get a digit. So you know three by three is nine plus two is 11. Now 11. Now the thing you have to remember is we just retain only one digit. And if you have an extra digit, then it becomes a carry forward. So in this case, I would write one here and this one actually, I will just cross it from here and write it over here. So this is how you would do the method. So this one I will write. So let's say that this is step two. And now let us look at step three. Now in step three, we simply multiply the units digit. That is two into three and this gives me six. So now if I want to find out 
the answer it is very simple i just sum up everything so if nothing is here so this is we the six comes down as it is this is the one which we got over here and this three and one have to be added so you get 416 as the answer now it is very intuitive for you to look at that even if you go from right to left you would still come with the same answer so for example uh, the, the only difference however uh, before we look at, into that example is that you, you just need to keep your digits from where you are starting so when you are starting for example from right to left so you when you do this 2 multiplied by 3 you put the 6 in the units place then you put the middle product the addition of the product of these two that is 3 multiplied by 3 plus 1 multiplied by 2 in the same way into the middle you get the one you carry it over ne uh, to the next next position and that would become a hundreds one and then again you come back and do a multiplication for the the digits in the tens place that would be three into one and you get a similar one now let me try to summarize what we have done over here and how does it look so let us say that we have a number one and i'm just representing it by a lot just to show you the pattern that you have to follow to get to the answer using this method now in the first step when we are doing the left to right way the first the step one is to multiply these two numbers okay that's the step one and you write that number over here the step two would be to take a cross product that is you multiply this with this number and this number with this number and you take their sum and put the digit in the units place over here and if you have any digit extra you just carry it over here and I'm okay so this is your step two and the third step would be to multiply the two numbers in the units place and that will come over here and again the same thing follows if you are getting a number which is greater than 10 in that case you put the units place over here and this uh, uh, the carry goes over here and the final answer can be quickly done by just adding and uh, taking care of the carries okay so this is the pattern for your vertically and crosswise multiplication now one of the things that you should have observed is this cross that has come in between. Now, now, now this is the cross which actually led to the multiplication sign. The multiplication sign has come from this and uh, that is why this method is known as vertically and crosswise. Okay, now let us try to solve a few more examples and this time doing them very quickly. So let us just do 32 multiplied by 12 now i'll i generally like to do the left to right method so i'll just do it mentally so three times one the first thing is three three into two is six plus one into two so six plus two is eight and two into two is four so this is my answer okay now let's do another one for example we can do 32 multiplied by 22 how would you do that it's the same thing and and this one i can do it from left to right uh sorry I, i'll do it from right to left just so for a change and you can uh, you know even follow that process as well so two into two becomes four again i would do this multiplication two times three is six plus two times two is four and now we get the addition of these two cross products it's 10 and as we said when you get a uh, more than 10 10 or more than 10 you put the units place here and you carry over the carry digit to the next position that now this becomes the hundreds position and now for the last step you come to 3 by 2 is 6 and your answer for this is going to 704 that is your answer so this is the vertically and crosswise method of multiplication and it would be good for you to practice a few uh, examples using this so just so that you can do it mentally um, and actually I in fact I should just like 
I would like to give you another representation of solving the same multiplication. Let's say if it is written 32 into 22, you can do this as well. It's, it's very simple actually, if you understand the method. So the way this would be done is, usually when you when you have a multiplication in this form, so what, what you can do is you, you start with the right to left. So in this case, this is, will be your first step. 2 into 2 is 4 and then you can do this mentally. The first one of this gets multiplied with the second one and the second one of this is multiplied by the first one of the second number. So 3 times 2 plus 2 times 2 is this. So you, it's 0, 1 is carried over and then you do this multiplication. 3 times 2 is 6 and then you come at the answer 7 or 4 the same answer that you can get. So this was the introduction to vertically and crosswise multiplication method. Uh, in the coming video, I'll take a few more examples which are a bit more complicated uh, uh, just in terms of the number of digits that you have to handle and give you a few more inputs on how to uh, uh, master this method further.